Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss how to solve a system of linear and quadratic equations graphically and algebraically. Now consider the following system of equations. Now we have to solve this quadratic and linear system it means we have to find those values of x and y which satisfy both the equations or in simple words we have to find the point of intersection of the given equations. Now let us solve the system of equations graphically. Now the first equation is y is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 now this is a quadratic equation and it is a parabola. And it is of the form y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Its axis of symmetry is x is equal to minus b upon 2a. Now here b that is coefficient of x is 2 and a that is coefficient of x square is 1. So x in symmetry is x is equal to minus 2 upon 2 into 1 which implies x is equal to minus 2 upon 2. This implies x is equal to minus 1. Now let us make table of values to draw its curve. It means we will put different values of x in this equation and we will get corresponding values of y. First of all let us put x is equal to minus 3 in this equation. And for x is equal to minus 3, we get y is equal to 4. Then for x is equal to minus 2, we get y is equal to 1. Then for x is equal to minus 1, we get y is equal to 0. Then for x is equal to 0, we get y is equal to 1. Then for x is equal to 1, we get y is equal to 4. Then for x is equal to 2, we get y is equal to 9. Now let us plot these points on the coordinate plane. Now let us plot the first point on the coordinate plane. So we have plotted the point with coordinates minus 3, 4 on the coordinate plane. Then let us plot the next point. And this is the point with coordinates minus 2, 1. Similarly, we will plot all the other points on the coordinate plane. So we have plotted all the points on the coordinate plane. Now joining all these points, we get graph of the quadratic equation y is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 which is a parabola whose axis of symmetry is the line x is equal to minus 1. Now let us draw the graph of the linear equation y is equal to x plus 3. For this, we will make its table of values. First of all, let us put x is equal to minus 3. Now for x is equal to minus 3, we get y is equal to 0. Then for x is equal to minus 2, we get y is equal to 1. Similarly, putting all these values of x, we are getting these corresponding values of y for this linear equation. Now we will plot all these points on the coordinate plane. First of all, let us plot the point minus 3, 0 on the coordinate plane. Now this is the point minus 3, 0. 
Similarly, we will plot all the points on the coordinate plane. So we have plotted all these points on the coordinate plane. Now joining all these points, we get a straight line. And this is the graph of the linear equation y is equal to x plus 3. From the graph, we can see that the line intersects the parabola at two points. And these two points are minus 2, 1 and 1, 4. Let this point be A and this point be B. So, the solution set of the given system, that is this system, is given by the points minus 2, 1 and 1, 4. So, we have solved the given system of equations graphically. Now, let us solve the system of equations algebraically. For this, we make use of substitution method. Now, in this method, we will follow the following steps to solve the linear and quadratic system algebraically. Now, since there are given two equations in terms of y is equal to f of x, so substitute the value of y from one equation into another. Secondly, write the new formed equation, that is the new formed quadratic equation in standard form and set it equal to zero. Then solve the quadratic equation. Then next, substitute in the linear equation to find the corresponding value of y. Then in the next step, write the solution as ordered pairs of numbers. Then in the next step, check the ordered pairs in each of the original equations. Now we will solve following system of equations algebraically by using substitution method. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now the first step substitute value of y in equation number 1 from equation number 2. So substituting the value we have x plus 3 is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1. Now let us solve this equation for x. Now this implies 0 is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 minus x minus 3. This further implies 0 is equal to, now combining the like terms we have x square plus 2x minus x is plus x plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2 or we can write it as x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation in x so we will solve it by factorization. Now by splitting the middle term this implies x square plus 2x minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. This further implies, now from these two terms, x is common, so it will be x into x plus 2 the whole. And from these two terms, taking minus 1 common, it will be minus 1 into x plus 2 the whole is equal to 0. This further implies, x plus 2 the whole into x minus 1 the whole is equal to 0. Now solving, we get two values of x, that is x is equal to minus 2 and 1. Now we will find values of y for x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 1. 
So we will put x is equal to minus 2 in this linear equation. So for x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to minus 2 plus 3, that is equal to 1. Now we will put x is equal to 1 and for x is equal to 1, we get y is equal to 1 plus 3, that is equal to 4. So for x is equal to minus 2, we get y is equal to 1. And for x is equal to 1, we get y is equal to 4. Now let us write this solution as ordered pairs of numbers. So we get two solutions of the system of equations. First is the ordered pair minus 2, 1. And second is the ordered pair 1, 4. Now lastly, we have to check that whether these ordered pairs satisfy both the equations or not. Now let us take the first ordered pair that is minus 2, 1. So let us put x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 1 in the first equation. So we have 1 is equal to minus 2 whole square plus 2 into minus 2 plus 1 which implies 1 is equal to 4 minus 4 plus 1 and this implies 1 is equal to 1 which is true. Now let us put x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 1 in equation 2 and we have 1 is equal to minus 2 plus 3 which implies 1 is equal to 1 which is also true. So the ordered pair minus 2, 1 is the solution of the given system of equations. Now let us take the second ordered pair, that is the ordered pair 1, 4. Now let us put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 4 in equation 1. And we have 4 is equal to 1 square plus 2 into 1 plus 1 which implies 4 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 1 that implies 4 is equal to 4 which is true then let us check it for the second equation so here we have 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 which implies 4 is equal to 4 which is also true. It means the ordered pair 1, 4 is also the solution of the given system of equations. Thus, the solution of the given quadratic linear system is the ordered pair minus 2, 1 and the ordered pair 1, 4. Now, if we are given a system of equations in which one equation is quadratic in two variables like the equation of a circle for example x square plus y square is equal to r square and a straight line then also we will follow the same procedure algebraically and graphically to solve the given system of equations. Now let us discuss types of solutions of quadratic linear system. Now, a quadratic linear system can have exactly two solutions, exactly one solution, or it can have no solution. Now we can know this algebraically from substitution method. When we substitute the value of y, we get a quadratic equation in x, that is, we get equation of type 
a square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now here we check value of discriminant that is b square minus 4ac. Now if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, then the system has exactly two solutions. Graphically, line will intersect the curve at two distinct points when b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 and if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then system has exactly one solution it means graphically line will be tangent to the curve and corresponding system of equations will have two identical roots or we can say one double root and if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then the system has no solution. Graphically it means line never intersects the curve for example, in above question, after substituting value of y, we have equation x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0, which is a quadratic equation in x. Now let us find value of discriminant, that is b square minus 4ac. Now here, B, that is coefficient of x, is 1. A, that is coefficient of x square, is again 1. And C, that is the constant term, is minus 2. So, B square minus 4AC is equal to 1 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 2, which is equal to 1 plus 8, that is equal to 9. Therefore, b square minus 4ac is equal to 9, which is greater than 0. And we know that if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, then system has exactly two solutions. So here, the system has exactly two solutions. Now earlier, we have drawn the graph of these two equations. Now graphically you can also see that the line intersects the curve at two distinct points. This means when b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, then the line will intersect the curve at two distinct points. So in this fashion we have discussed how to solve derivative linear system of equations algebraically and graphically. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.